Congratulations! She made it! Gotta get the sunscreen on. So today we're gonna go to El Moro, which is in downtown San Juan. the old fortress that is here. We've been here before, but we've never gone inside. So today we're gonna learn all about it. The monument to your left and the painting on this panel commemorate their battle. In a month long attack and siege, Dutch forces tried to take San Juan, and they nearly did. Do you guys but know what a siege is? No. Like an attack? It's of. where you don't let them go, so they can't get food and water. So for a month long, they were kind of stuck here. Yep. So what if I caused you to not be able to get out of your bedroom for a month? This iguana is climbing up the wall. It's pretty cool. So this is old San Juan over here. Here's where the cruise ships come into port. And up here is El Moro and the walls that go around the city. There's another fortress over here called Castillo San Cristobal that's really similar. There used to be a drawbridge, but it's not there anymore. It's just cool to even be somewhere where there was a drawbridge. We're in the fortress. We were worried that Janae would be bored. Are you chasing the birdies? Is there an airplane? They just put it up there. So here's where the soldiers slept. And Laura, do you see what they used to wash their clothes? It's a washboard. Line up for inspection. Line up. In the morning. Okay, line up. For line inspection. up for drills and inspection. Is everybody ready, ready for today? Yes. Caleb, you need to tuck in your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they did up here. They would wake up in the morning and they would come line up. Number six is the What is the map? Say? Map says you're here. You're right here. They have to get through that and they're being shot at the whole entire time. Look at these tools. These tools were used to build this mighty fortress because the mortar group could not always see the target. They were just launching them into the air. Yes. Ready? You guys, look at this. Papa? Yeah. Did cannonballs have ammunition inside of them? Or was it Some of them did. They, they would ignite this, ignite the cannon, and then when this landed, it would blow up and send nails and everything everywhere. This is a huge cannon, and these are the cannonballs. What is that? For water. Why would they have a trench for water? She wants to climb the wall. She's trying to scale the fortress. It's under attack. I'm as tall as this wall. Gosh, this is really insane here. Do you think this is the fortress stage? Time for a pretzel break. It would be enough sparking to ignite this whole room. This whole room probably had enough powder in it to blow up this whole fortress. Elise found the kitchen. She might be a little underwhelmed. This casemate served as one of El Moro's kitchens during the 1700s. Look at the fireplace. And do you remember where the smoke went upstairs? Yeah. 
So this is not air conditioning, this is the ocean breeze. Okay, that was a really good question. Why is it always windy next to the ocean? We are going down, down, down. So this is the oldest part of the fortress right here. Hello! And it echoes Hello. from here. So this section of the fortress is 481 years old, if I did my math right. Let's go. Should we call that a wrap? Yeah, for sure. I think everyone's ready for lunch. Did you find some dirt? Okay, so I asked my dad, who by the way knows everything, and he totally knows why wind happens close to the ocean. And it's because of temperature change. And because the land and the ocean are different temperatures, it causes movement of air, and that movement of air makes wind. Janae was a trooper. Now she has fruit snacks. Life is good. We're all hungry, so we decided to eat out, which is always a little bit of a gamble because the kids are already tired, so I really hope they behave well. But there's two of our favorite restaurants right next to each other, not far from downtown San Juan. So we're trying to decide which one to eat at. Well, we're eating at Stuffed Avocado because it's just a counter service restaurant, so we'll be able to get our food faster. I love Pure Natural. It's one of my favorite restaurants here. The kids are behaving so well, though. I almost want to hold my breath saying that. They're doing so well. They must be really tired. They're just waiting for their food. We ordered. Do you want some rice? What are you ordering? I'm going to build my own thing using the eel sauce. Eel sauce. Which what apparently is, is just soy sauce and honey. No eels. loves avocados so the very first time I came here I texted her I was like mom you have to come to the store with me so they take an avocado at the bottom and then you build like this amazing salad with proteins and rice on top of it so delicious yeah. uh, I, think, I think you know what this is what is it it's a cannon you're drawing a picture of cannons is that what we saw today it's the one that has that little pole at the end I've talked about dry moats and sieges sieges awesome oh my goodness their bedrooms were so tiny. There's the different kinds of cannons, different kinds of bombs. That's a bad flag, I think. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> Man, cause that was gonna get him. This one's from Caleb. And, and just by adding the seven and the three, I knew the answer was a zero. So it's a letter like and you. a word, like I love you, I dig, I went on a trip. So whenever Janae wakes up from a nap, or in the morning, the very first thing she says to me is, Mom, is it my birthday yet? Are you excited for your birthday? Yeah. Birthday season is awesome, but it is hard to watch everybody else's birthdays come by and know that hers is close. She's about a month away. It's gonna be a long wait. What are you wanting for your birthday? Gum. Gum? What kind of gum? Pink. Pink gum. That's what's on her birthday wish list. Janae is pretty excited to be trying out the balance bike. What color is your bike? Pink. So she told me she wants to take it slow. This is about what we're doing. She's got her helmet on, her tennis shoes. She's ready for the action. Janae's really got quite a bit of stamina. You're going over the rocks. Good job. Good is job. Is this how going. you do it? This is exactly how you do it. Does, do kids do this? Yeah, kids totally do this. If you want to, you can balance your feet up here and mommy can push you. Would you like to go faster? No, why not do it slow? You wanna do it slow? All right. We've made it one house down. You got it, girl, just keep going. <laughs> okay, you put your feet up and mommy will hold on. Ready, put your feet up. <gasps> oh, that's such a big girl. I want to do it slow, that's how I get there. All right, slow is how you get there. That's a pretty deep thought for life, Janae. Yeah. Slow is how you get there, poco a poco. How are you liking your new bell? I like it. And your basket? Has my smack in it? Yes. Oh my goodness, she's picking up the pace. Yep, you push, you push. Okay, now sit down and push and then glide. Yep, go fast. Go fast with those little legs, push. I just like to walk my bike. Okay, you can walk your bike, that's cool. Janae made it to the bike path. She is still going strong. She is determined, she is riding her bike all the way to the park. Um, we're here. 
Did you make it to the park? Yeah, I did. Oh, we went so far. You did? You went so far. Do you hear the cookie frogs? Yeah. That means it's getting to be nighttime. What happens at nighttime? We go to bed. We do. <laughs> Section. She made it! Did you ride your bike to the park? Yeah. Woo! Exactly together. Look at her pumping those feet. <laughs> this girl loves to swing. One, two, three, Janae. We're playing how many bean bags can you toss in the wagon? Janae is rocking it. Oh, that one was close. That was close. Oh, missed it just by a little. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, so close. One. Two in there. Three in there. Oh, good. Well, I'm trying to organize this cabinet. I'm making a house for everyone. You're making a house for everyone? And I'm making a park where there's only grass. Golden Day Parks. Can I see? Oh. The girls asked if they could paint, and I said, sure, and I got out these things. They're like glue sticks, but they're paint, and it's washable, so it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. My mom is the master organizer, so I was showing her a closet that was driving me crazy, and we just decided to reorganize a few things. You know, party hard tonight. So Jeremy just grabbed the camera to go upload the footage, and I said, wait, I've got one more thing I wanna say. Today when we were at the fortress, what I really noticed about this massive structure is how it was made from bricks, small bricks. Tons and tons of small bricks, and these bricks were handmade. I mean, this was made hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And I was thinking about my goals, whether it's for our family, for my life, personally, sometimes these things can feel massive and overwhelming and impossible. But when you look at the way this fortress was constructed, it was constructed one tiny brick at a time. And I think I just need to remember the power of those simple things in my life. The fortress doesn't get constructed overnight and neither do the changes that I'm trying to see in my home and my family. So anyway, little thoughts from Kendra to end your night. Good night, Jay House out. I'm pretty.